Good morning. Today we are going to discuss the types of packaging material which will include paper and paperboard and the second one is glass. Let's get started. Packaging material is categorized into different types. Different packaging materials are used such as glass, metals, paper, paperboards and plastics. There are many multi-layered packaging materials which contain either layer of different plastics or combination of plastics with paper, board, metal or glass. First of all, paper. Paper and paperboard is a sheet material which is produced from an interlaced network of cellulose fibers derived from the wood by using sulfate and sulfite. These fibers are then further pulped, bleached and treated with chemicals and strengthening agents to produce the paper products. Now the biggest advantage of paper is it is biodegradable and the disadvantage is it is not having that much of tensile strength to carry the heavy products. But to improve on that the first we have craft paper. In this the tensile strength is improved. So, it is mostly used in the grocery stores. Skinry is the sulf second is the sulfite paper. It is lighter and weaker than craft paper. The sulfite paper is glazed to improve its appearance. It increases its wet strength and oil resistance. It can, co can be coated for higher print quality and can be used in laminates with plastic or foil. It is used to make small bags and wrappers for packaging of biscuits and confectionery. Then is grease proof paper. paper. It is used by the process known as heating. It is used to wrap the snack foods, cookies, candy bars and other oily foods. Then is the parchment paper. The parchment paper does not provide a good barrier to air and moisture and is not heat seedable. It is used mostly to package the bakery products with a high fat content. Then is the paperboard. Paperboard is thicker than paper and with a higher weight per unit area it is often made in multiple layers. When different layers of papers they are used and they are combined, then we get the paper boards. We can add flutes to it to make corrugated fiber board. It is suitable in small and bulk packaging. It is used for dry products and powder products and fresh foods also. The biggest advantage is it can be used because it is flexible and easily molded, lightweight, less expensive and widely available. The cardboard cartons, they have high shock resistance capacity. And the disadvantage is non-laminated paper packaging may cause damage due to moisture contact. They may cause damage on transportation without external barriers. Second type is glass containers. They are chemically inert, transparent, long term storage and extended shelf life, can be used for milk products, fruit products, pickles, sauces. But the disadvantage of the glass is it is brittle and heavy and non biodegradable. <coughs> So the manufacturing of glass is done in four phases. First of all is the preparation of the raw material, melting in a furnace, forming and finishing. For complete reference to this, you can read the book that is the basics of food packaging from P. Jacobs. This is the process flow diagram of the manufacturing of glass. Glass forming, it depends upon the application. The most common ty types of glass formings are flat glass, glass fibers and glass tubing. These are the processes.
now there are different types like soda lime glass fused silica glass lead glass and borosilicate glass thank you so much please subscribe my channel and please like 